All right, time to do a little unboxing. Uh, maybe the thumbnail has the fucking deal that's in here. Anyhow, I ordered another ulster from Tier 1 Concealment. Uh, this makes possibly uh, my fifth or sixth. I'm not sure. That's probably who I have the most of. Uh, along with the wife has one also. So... I ended up with the MSP um, outside the waistband holster um, one uh, right here that I got a month or two ago or whatever and it uses the TLR1. Let me grab the gun. Uh, here's the gun. It uses the TLR1 and it takes any, any pistol as long as you have that TLR1. Um, so I went ahead and uh, ordered the MSP, but the concealment one. So I think this one actually came out first. So just haven't even opened it yet. Nothing's open. Uh, this little fancy thing was from the post office. So I believe it was, yeah, delivered by the United States Postal Service. And uh, I don't know if they try to check to see what was in there or not so let's see if there is actually any damage or if my freaking holster is in there so let's go ahead and do a true unboxing I guess and let's see don't cut myself all right all right just had it out and grab the freaking Open the deal and it had my address. That's probably a no bueno. So here we have the what came with it: shipping insurance, dominant right hand TLR one, Streamlight OD green, blah 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 blah. All right. So let's see a little paper and oh, fell out. You always get these fancy bags. I got several of these fucking bags everywhere. But anyway, so here's the holster that fell out and maybe some stickers. Yeah, these things are kind of shit. I don't, I don't know if they're for your car or where the hell they're to, but they don't always stick very well. Um, and another sticker. I think I have that one on a mug or something. Uh, and then shit that nobody reads anymore. Uh, let's see. But here is the holster, I guess. So, looks a little big. Uh, that's what she said. But uh, let's see how it fits. Alright. That's pretty cool. It's pretty snug. I could probably tighten it up. Um, so I've, I usually don't order the Loctite with the, the holsters. Because I don't know if they send you a little jar or they put it on. But either way, I'll rather just do it myself. Um, but yeah, I noticed that you, you do need to do it with these because they will come loose. And I've lost uh, the hardware before on these. Mostly the little, the little nut. Or grommet on the inside I don't know if you can see that piece right there once those you lose those and they fall down your pants and into your boot or whatever um, if they fall into your boot good if they don't then no you're fucked so uh, it looks pretty badass I have uh, like shorts on right now so I don't think I had took my work clothes off so I don't know if uh, let me try and see what it feels like right real quick. All right, I found another <clears throat> one of my Vortex shorts, shirts uh, in the back back here. So uh, they're a little tighter of a shirt. Plus, this has the uh, the uh, grip tape from Talon, but uh, I mean, it prints quite a bit. But this is a G forty seven or whatever. Um, but yeah, it looks. It's a little bulky, uh, so I don't know, kind of, 
I don't know if I'm supposed to put this dead in the center or if uh, you're supposed to put it off to the uh, side or whatever. Um, this uh, forest doesn't even have a deal for the light. Oh, here we go. Check this out. I got uh, an extra MMP, uh, whatever. 2.0 metal, so let's see. It's got a little bit less aggressive texturing on the thing. Let's get rid of that. Kind of why I did want to get this holster was to start carrying one of these because I do have uh, two now, but I don't have a, a holster, appendix holster. So actually, that seems a little bit better. Uh, I mean, it, I would be wearing a baggier shirt, but uh, so I don't know if I would. I gotta fill. Uh, these are drawstring shorts, so I gotta kind of see what it would be like with actual um, pants on. Because um, I may want to be putting it over here a little bit more, so it's a it's a little tight in there too. So I don't know. I have to just mess with the adjustments. Yeah. So I don't know. It's pretty cool. I mean, it fits decent. Uh, it's really just figuring out where where you want it at. You know. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get used to that to get that draw faster. But uh, yeah, I may. I like when they sit over here a little bit with. Uh, like the other ones, so it's a little less concealing. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's flip this around. Anyway, there you have it. Walter's getting ready to start fucking barking. Uh, even though he ate already. Let's see. Let's get a close up. So yeah, basically kind of bought it that way I can carry one of this extra one or whatever since I am probably mostly familiar with this gun. 20 some thousand rounds through uh both of these together. This is a little bit too aggressive probably to carry appendix. I wear undershirts, but uh the fact that it's just catching on my shirt is probably going to be a no-go. But uh yeah, with this one, I probably might loosen the retention a little bit so I can get that out of there a little faster or mess around with that. But uh, first impressions, the, the quality <coughs> is fairly decent. It's pretty nice. Hey, when people nitpick uh, about this little sharp edge right here, I don't give a shit. I'm going to beat it up anyway. But uh, yeah, other than that, I kind of like it. I like the color, the OD green with the neon green, um, the paracord or whatever. But uh, I'll probably do a video running it this this week or so, or when I go out in the middle of the week in a couple days. Uh, maybe I'll do something real quick, check some times or whatever, like build drills or draw the first shot out of it or something. It is a little bulky bulkier because of the light but it's probably about as bulky as the one i have for my glock 19 from them and um so yeah anyway but uh there you have it i ended up getting it on fourth of july sale they had a 1776 code so you save 1776 percent whatever but it made it worth it uh so shipped and everything just over 100 bucks um I think it was even free shipping, but I'm not, I can't remember, but there you have it. First impressions unboxing the tier one MSP concealment holster to go along with my other one. Um, so we'll see how it runs. All right, cool, ladies.